My guests are two church planters here in the Netherlands who helped plant a church in Lelystad called Speranza Hope. Thanks for joining us, me, joining me, gentlemen. And yeah, when you. did you Hello. when did you start? Um, ik ben begonnen. Um, I started in 2012 in the church, um, the Moederkerk in Almere, in this city. And then I started doing um, a radio show every Monday, so once every week. And it was especially for the Italian people that live in and around Almere. And um, and then I got inspired when uh, the radio show stopped, which was done in Papiamento. Then I said, I want to start with all the people we've spoken to throughout the years. It's definitely possible to get in contact with these people by starting a, uh, um, a church plant. And that's how... Um, we got started in around 2012. We have a service once every month in nearly every Sabbath evening after the Sabbath. Um, we had a small study group with three or four people. And, um, and that's how we grew to become a larger group. And in 2017, we are Wonderful. Now, Kaspar, why did you decide that you would be involved in starting a new group? Um, yeah, well, it went as such. I slowly started getting involved, and they asked me if I also wanted to join the group, which for me was a pretty big challenge, but it felt amazing to be included in the group. Now, Fabian, how did you find time to do this? You, I'm sure, are a busy man. How could you find time to plant a church? Okay. If I understand correctly, you're talking about time and how I found time to do this. For me, working for the Lord is my passion. And after my work at the job that I now have, I get ready together with my wife, and then I go to Lillestad. It's about a 15-minute drive to get there. And then together with the others, we grew up into a really beautiful group that later became a church. I find it really special to be able to work for the Lord because there are so many people that live there who need Him. Okay. Kaspar, um, how did you start the new group? What method did you use to start the new group? Um, yeah. At first, it was a real challenge to get people to come to the church. So then we had to think about what are we good at? And our wives, not us, are good at cooking. So we started doing an open house. It's a monthly open house that we do on the last Sabbath of the month. And people come and eat with us. Plus, it's free, and everything is vegetarian, so people can't make a fuss like, oh, I can't eat this food. It's all really good food, and people enjoy themselves when they're there. People stick around to help with the dishes afterwards. Other times, people come and help with the cooking. And really, it's like a big family coming together every time. And the people that come are inspired to go to the church. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, tell me, Fabian... Um, 
can you give me just a, a, a brief experience, a short experience of somebody okay. who came to know Jesus through this group? We had the intention of going further with the church, um, with people from my culture, Papi Men's Caribbean. And we had a hard time getting through to the Caribbean people. And what Casper was just talking about, the open house where people come eat with us, people from the Caribbean, people from the Antilles, they don't come to these events at all, so they never experience what we do. So we got to talking and then he told us it was better to focus on other nationalities. We started focusing on changing our program because the service was in Papimento and Dutch. We then stopped using Papimento altogether and only did the service in Dutch. And then the people in the surrounding area, the Dutch-speaking people, no matter their background, Indonesians, Surinamers, Antillians, Dutch, or Muslims, it doesn't matter. All these people come to the church. This motivated people. They were so happy with what we were doing because the open house makes people feel at home. People started coming in slowly, first through the open house, and eventually coming to services on other days. After that, people receive Bible study, and once they've learned about it, they give their lives over to Jesus Christ, and they get baptized. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, thank you so much for sharing, and congratulations thank on what you, you have done yeah. under God's okay. blessing. Thank you.